there's something uh, I want to tell you guys <clears throat> that's really important, is that Milwaukee is the greatest city in, in America. <laughs> Will Allen made but joke, but he's that. making Milwaukee a mecca for urban agriculture. I'm from Wyoming. From Los Angeles, California. Homer, Alaska. I'm coming from Europe, Eastern Europe. I'm living in Latvia. Okay, come on in, you guys. These pilgrims have traveled many miles to learn from Will and tour the Milwaukee farm he started 20 years ago. Since then, Will's become a recognized leader in the local food movement and a recipient of the MacArthur Genius Award. But it's been a very surprising journey. My parents both were involved in sharecropping and we grew up on a small farm. While Will grew up on a farm, more and more African Americans were leaving their agricultural roots in the rural south for jobs in northern cities. We didn't have a lot of spendable income, but the one powerful thing we always had was lots and lots of uh, good food. Even so, Will was eager to leave the farm behind. When I left the farm at 18, I said, never again will I do this hard work. As a six foot six teenager, he thought basketball would be his ticket out of farm life. I don't know if you all can reach up here and grab some, but if you can, <laughs> we'll let you uh, take some home. So when I went away to college, decided to go to University of Miami in Florida, where I was the first African-American athlete, I said that I would never go back to farming, and I guess you should never say never. After playing pro ball in Europe, Will moved to his wife's hometown of Milwaukee. One of Will's Milwaukee jobs was managing several inner city KFC franchises. It put him in the heart of a community that didn't have access to the fresh food he grew up with. Coming into the city and seeing uh, mostly fast food places and corner stores, many of the grocery stores were pulling out of these neighborhoods. So it left a big void. We're in a food desert here. I think a lot of people from the outside that don't live in those communities would say, get rid of all the fast food stores. If you did that, what would happen? There would be thousands of people without jobs. I don't spend a lot of my time uh, degrading fast food places or industrial agriculture. What I want to do is give folks an opportunity for a choice. If anybody wants to try a nasturtium, just grab one and pop it in your mouth. They're delicious. Will was surprised when he made a reconnection with his farming past. As soon as I touched the soil, I felt there was something missing in my life. And, and it was, uh, I must have had some hidden passion for farming that just came out. And I had this strong desire to grow food again. Will's KFCs had served customers from Milwaukee's largest housing project. Now he sought to serve them something better and to reconnect the largely African-American residents with an agricultural heritage that had been all but lost. Let's keep going. <laughs> he bought a group of dilapidated greenhouses to create growing power. The small farm grows and sells fresh food in a densely populated urban center. We have to be able to grow more food on less space. So what we're doing here is demonstrating how you do it. That, to me, is the future. Because as we stand here, we're losing prime farmland all over the world. So we're going to have to grow more food for more people, figure that out, and this is one of the ways of doing it. And the first step is the soil. Any farmer will tell you, any sustainable farmer, it's all about the soil. All the soil you see everywhere we grow from waste. Will set up a network of food waste hauling from groceries and restaurants, with businesses happy to have it taken. Even a corporate campus offers up its used coffee grounds to feed this enormous composting operation. As long as I have this stuff right here, that's the key. This is the key to scaling up urban agriculture in America. Without compost, without high quality compost, it's not gonna happen. Will may be passionate about his compost, but saves his admiration for his worms. I always say I like these worms because uh, I give you an idea of what they do. This is a perfect example. Inside this banana, this is what they do, the food. They'll get inside that banana and they'll eat out all of this, and their waste will become the fertilizer. Fertilizer sold at Growing Power 
as Milwaukee black gold. And they live very harmoniously together. They're not fighting over food. They're going to enjoy the food. So, and they don't talk to you, you know. Well, they don't talk to you. They talk to me. They won't talk to you. <laughs> Will will talk to anyone about his passion for growing or his latest project. In this tank right here, uh, we're going to be putting eels. So if you come back, uh, oh, they got me. No, there's no eels in there right now. His next step is this planned five-story vertical farm, retail, and education center. So this is a very important building as a model that we can study to figure out how these cities are going to build 50 and 100-story vertical farms. That may sound ambitious until you look around at all that Will Allen has built so far. And there's still a chance to join him and get in on the ground floor. So if any of you uh, want to make a contribution of $12 million, <laughs> uh, leave me, come and give me a check and I'll put your name on every window and door and whatever you want. You know? <laughs> I don't want a penny from you. You'll, you'll give me a penny.